Well, we mentioned that AI roundtable with the president. Among the people at the table, Sal Khan, founder and CEO of Khan Academy. Khan Academy is using AI to power a learning tool called Conmigo. It's a tutor and teaching assistant being tested in schools across the country right now. Conmigo can do things like help students work through math problems and become a debate partner. Joining us now is Sal Khan. Sal, it's been a few years since we've seen you. Nice to have you back on NBC. Uh, I imagine you get these invites quite often. Any substance to today's meeting with President Biden? I've got to say, I, I oftentimes assume things like this might be a little bit performative, but I was really impressed by both the conversation. I learned many things from the fellow panelists, and I was really impressed by both uh, the president and, and his team members' uh, questions and how they were thinking about the issues. Well, that's saying something. If you're learning from the panelists there, uh, usually we learn from you. President uh, the Biden, Biden or the Biden administration, um, is he in touch with the Silicon Valley, or do you get a sense that his advisors are? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, his head of uh, Office of Science and Technology and Policy is actually originally from the Bay Area. I, I was seated right next to her there. You see in the video, Arthi Prabhakar. Um, so he's definitely plugged in into what's what's going on out here. Sal, we hear a lot about the risk of AI, rightfully so, perhaps replacing all of our jobs or getting machines to take over here. Uh, you're the education leader, though, here in the country among them. Um, how can this help you guys right now? More importantly, how can it help students right now? Well, the number one reason why students sometimes disengage from their education is uh, they, they don't get support right when they need it. We think artificial intelligence, an artificially intelligent tutor, and we're already, as you mentioned, piloting that with Conmigo, uh, can really help them out. It can engage them in ways that would have only seemed like science fiction even a year ago. Uh, you mentioned it can engage in debates. They can talk to uh, simulations of, of historic characters or fictional characters. Uh, a lot of kids like talking to Winnie the Pooh on, on Conmigo. Uh, and it can act as an assistant for teachers where they can uh, help get help creating lesson plans, grading papers, or writing progress reports. So we think it, it could all around be a, a huge benefit. And instead of doing the work for students, as chat GPT kind of when it came on the scene, a lot of people thought it would be uh, Conmigo is there to be a writing coach, but not do the work for the students. What's the risk in education and AI? Well, I think the biggest risk is uh, the cheating risk. That's the one that everyone's aware of. And ChatGPT wasn't made for an education application. That's why it's, we think it's important to, to think about it in that use case. Uh, but we're also putting guardrails in place so that parents and teachers can monitor any conversations. We have a second AI that will actively notify parents and teachers if anything suspicious is going on uh, with, with the students. Um, and uh, once again, uh, anything we can do where we're helping the student but not solving the problems for the student. Above and beyond that, we just have to make sure that it's safe from a data privacy point of view, et cetera. And this is one of the main reasons why we set up Khan Academy as a not-for-profit back in the day, is to make sure that we do right by uh, learners and, and educators when it comes to technology. It's funny, watching this video here, these are the old school days in those Mountain View offices, I believe, of you uh, teaching uh, with your tennis shoes on, your family members. We've gone, we've gone a long way. Yes, that, that was a, a younger Sal right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sal Khan, appreciate your time and uh, interesting that you sat there uh, with the president talking to AI. Thanks. Uh, thanks. We'll see you down the road.